So to celebrate our community reaching 1 million, we're gonna make a cake and answer some questions. Like one of those old school YouTube videos where we just talk and spend some time together. We're gonna make a realistic ligma fork cake with two layers and a homemade fondant cover. Our first question is whether or not I'll continue to be a faceless YouTuber. Well, I didn't become a faceless YouTuber on purpose. As a lot of you guys know, in my earliest videos, I did show face. And if I ever decide to change the format, I don't mind including face again. Currently, I just feel like radioactive food is the main focus on this channel, so it's pretty unnecessary. But the most important reason why I haven't revealed my face is because... I'm super shy, super shy. Next question, Jorgen wants to know if I have any advice for someone who wants to start video creation. And then he gave himself the advice to just start and have fun with it. Uh, that's pretty much the best advice I could give. I believe I'm the least qualified person to give anybody any advice. But just start. Experiment with different things. Sometimes you don't get to choose the right type of content. The right type of content chooses you. The best advice I've ever gotten in terms of content creation is to not take anybody else's advice. It's really a free, wild, open space here on the internet. Don't limit yourself. You'll always find a place. Shroomy D5698 asks, what's my plan for the future? If it's just YouTube or a career and cooking or something else. And Shroomy wants to be a teacher in the future and teach the little ones how to cook just like me. I'm very honored to hear that. I think being a teacher is extremely noble, but maybe not exactly like me. Exclude the innuendos at least. Well, in terms of my future, I don't have a plan at all. I'm really good at learning to love whatever situation I'm in or job I have. Or my sister calls it the defeated in life mentality. For now, I just want to cook, make videos, and hang out with you guys for as long as possible. Possible. I don't like changes, but if I ever do find a goal that's worth achieving, I'll update you and take you along the journey. Are you gonna stick with the Ligma fork forever or do you plan on buying more equipment someday? Obviously, I'm gonna honor the Ligma fork with my life. What is a life? But I'll definitely buy equipment if it's necessary to make a recipe. I see this channel as a place where we get to learn new recipes together. I don't want to hold us back. Night Fuzzy 384A wants to know what's my favorite recipe we've made on this channel. Hers is the Japanese cheesecake. Uh, which which one? The matcha one or the fluffy one? Because the fluffy one is one of the worst things ever. For me, it's definitely the creamy potato fire noodles. It really impressed me that these two ingredients can work so well together. It's so bad for you too, which makes it taste even better. What got me into cooking? For Nephilim is because he was a single child. Parents were way too busy to cook, so they made food in bulk for him to unfreeze. He didn't like that, so he started cooking fresh meals by himself. That's awesome you took the matter into your own hands. I would have just complained. So I got into cooking pretty much just like everybody else. When I was going to middle school in Boston, I watched YouTube videos a lot in the basement, came across Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellington, and thought to myself, I can do that. And then trying to make recipes way above my skill level, but as casually explained said, the hardest part of any recipe is where it says serves to. I'm very grateful for cooking though, because it did teach me that behind every good result, there's a tremendous amount of care and effort in every single step of the process, which applies to everything else in life as well. Ems really want to go to Croatia, and she's asking where I want to visit. As you guys know, my favorite activity of all time is to stay at home, because I feel like every time I step out of my door, there's a world with endless possibilities of getting f over. I'm completely impressed and fully respect people who live life as an adventure, but for me personally, I just prefer constant peace and quiet. Right now, I'm making a marshmallow fondant from scratch. Just to give you guys a trigger warning, it's about to get really, really bad. Kyla1494 wants to know if I ever get discouraged from cooking. All the time. But at this point, I think I'm just numb. I still remember the first time I thought of giving up on YouTube was making my first video ever. I posted back in February. You guys will never find it. It was a Lucky Charm flavored drink with marshmallows all over the top. And right before I was about to film the taste test, I knocked it over onto the carpet. Not only did the glass shatter, all the sugary liquid got into the carpet. The worst part is the sticky marshmallows. It took me hours to clean it up, and as I was scrubbing the carpet, I actually thought about giving up YouTube. That's when I swore to myself I will never ever work with marshmallows again. I always end in a traumatic disaster that takes hours to reconcile. Radioactive chicken and beating egg whites are nothing compared to the trauma that marshmallows can give me. So my advice for you if you get discouraged from cooking, probably just to watch my videos. It'll, feel, it'll make you feel better about yourself.
A lot of cooking questions. Hope my answers aren't too boring. Let's answer some personal ones to have a change of pace. Rachel wants to know how I take my coffee. She doesn't drink coffee very often because of health reasons, but when she does, she takes a lot of cream and no sugar. Well, I take my coffee black and uh, I never go back. Mostly because I fast every day for 16 to 20 hours. I'm much more productive when I'm hungry and also allows me to eat all this food that I'm cooking. I don't like to waste them. Now to refresh you guys' attention span, we're gonna do a couple of speed round of answering personal questions. Do you like cats? Yes, my family has a cat and a dog. Why did I move to NYC? To become a chef. Uh, failing miserably right now. Hard boiled because I'm a psychopath. When Gordon Ramsay reacted and liked my beef wellington. I recently just finished undergrad. I have watched Food Wars and my favorite anime is One Punch Man. I want to be like Saitama. The color of my toothbrush is black and I don't have a black boyfriend. I study the science of winemaking. Are you guys surprised by that? The best way to waste your time uh, watch my videos, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I give a second chance to QP Mayo. If he ever responds to me, mine's also Quesabiria Tacos. And finally, I'm not sure what's my inspiration for deadpan humor. I didn't know what deadpan was until people on TikTok kept saying it, so I had to Google it. Definitely not the funny one among my friends. Funny looking one, maybe. I think they'll say that I'm the most quiet. As you can see here, the two layers of cake are done. I'm frosting it with a Duncan Hines chocolate spread. I do plan on traveling and make some food review content. I realize I'm pretty unfamiliar with the cuisine of the American South. I want to visit some of those states soon, and if you guys have recommendations, please send them my way. Now we'll cover the cake with the marshmallow fondant we just made. After that is the best part, we're gonna make a realistic ligma fork on top. So here comes the ligma fork. It's a long rod with a bent top. To make it look exactly like the real one, we'll bent a little more, so now it's perfect. So as you can probably already tell, I'm a master baker, and the most important part of any realistic cake is letting it rest. I'm gonna let this cake rest for about three hours. In the meantime, we'll answer our last two questions. Does my family know I'm a YouTuber and watch my videos? First of all, thank you and your dad for thinking I'm funny. I do have an older sister. She used to beat me up a lot, but I still love her. My family doesn't know that I have YouTube. Almost none of my my friends know either. I'm not trying to hide it. I just like to keep YouTube and going about my day separate. I think it's really nice that I get to share this aspect of life with only you guys. Even though we're just strangers, but our community is very special. Kind of takes me back to old school YouTube. Final question. What is my preference with forks? Well... <laughs> So let's play a game called Is This Ligma for Cake? It's super sweet. I think it's just pure sugar. So 10 out of 10. Thank you so much for listening to me blabbering about myself for 8 minutes straight. I'll make sure this never happened again. I'm just really happy. I apologize for having emotions, as usual. This delicious, moist chocolate cake with the ligma fork on top is made by my good friend Hannah. She's the owner of Cake by Klein. I'll link her business down below. That's it for the 1 million special. Alright, thank you.